Today is smart tech that you didn't know you needed. And this might be something that some people didn't even know could be smart. I didn't even realize that this was something that could be a smart product. So today we're gonna to be reviewing this. Today we're going to be doing a product review on Eufy's Smart Scale, specifically the P3 Smart Scale that they have. This was something that I didn't know could even be smart, and I have really enjoyed it in the time that I've been using it. I don't use it as often as I probably should, but right now I am trying to lose some weight since I put on so much weight during our kitchen remodel that we had going on and our insurance company was paying for us to eat out which was all great, but where I live, there's really not a lot of restaurants. And honestly, we don't eat fast food at all. Like we never went to McDonald's, Burger King. I'd never had Raising Cane, so I tried Raising Cane's once, but that was about it. I mean, the most fast food you could say we were eating was Jersey Mike's subs, which was like our Sunday after church thing that we would do. So I decided to get back on the carnivore diet. I've done it in the past and I lost about 20 pounds in a month. I really enjoy it. I like eating meat, uh, like red meat, beef. I love pork. Uh, and in Alaska, we have a lot of wild game. Uh, moose is also a really great thing, and we eat a lot of fish, too. So it's super easy to do carnivore here in Alaska, especially since it's after hunting season, and a lot of people are always up for giving away a little bit of a, their game that they've caught so I can get some free stuff, which is pretty awesome. Before we dive into today's review, I just want to say thank you for bearing with me as we worked through all different types of audio and video challenges and upgrades. Uh, if you can't see, I've got a new microphone. I hear my last video was not the best on audio. It sounds good to me when I'm editing it because I can adjust things. But once you put it out there on YouTube and you watch it on all the different platforms, it's not always the same audio that I thought I had put into it. So we splurged a little bit and got ourselves uh, more of a professional style podcasting microphone and I have absolutely loving it. I've been doing some testing over the last couple weeks with it. I love it. The quality is great. So I just want to say thank you for bearing with me and working through these audio challenges. Audio is the hardest part to get right on YouTube in my opinion. This big old thing, you can see all the reflection, you can see my lights and everything in it here. This big thing is Eufy's P3 scale. It was on sale whenever I bought it. It does so many different things and I absolutely love it. As I said, I am going through carnivore right now and so I am trying to keep track a little bit more of what my actual weight is. Uh, growing up, I've never been somebody that had to care about my weight. I have just always been naturally lighter, skinnier, you could say. So I never really cared about my weight. If anything, my problem was keeping weight on because no matter what I seemed to eat, I never gained any weight. And so I always had to actually pay attention to eat more, which is odd for most people. And now that I'm hitting my 30s, it's starting to trend in the opposite direction now. So with all this eating out that we were doing, I put on quite a bit of extra weight. So with wanting to change our diet, my wife and I decided to splurge a little bit and purchase this scale. It might be a little bit of extra if you're somebody that just needs their weight. But what's really awesome is the ability to track your weight. So it's putting dates and times as to when you're weighing yourself. So you can actually go back and look at the history instead of having to keep like a notebook of all the different weights that you've been. This tells you exactly what you weighed at what, what time. It also tells you your BMI. It tells you how much muscle you have, how much fat you have in your body, which is kind of interesting. Not exactly sure how it tests for that. But with this scale, you do have to have no socks, no shoes on or anything. It's literally bare feet whenever you're weighing yourself every time. So it can track some additional data. It's also interesting, you have a baby option. So if you have small children, you can specifically weigh a baby or even though you can actually also do like cats and dogs on here, which was pretty cool. I mean, I sometimes pay attention to my animal's weight. So if they're losing a lot of weight, I know something's wrong. Or if they're putting on a lot of weight, you know something's wrong. There was multiple different trackings that this did for us. There was about 16 different 
statistics that this scale could specifically track. And along with that, there is the Eufy Life app. The only thing weird about Eufy is they have multiple different apps. So they have their Eufy Security, they have Eufy Life, and then they have Eufy Clean. Currently, they are finally working on a way to combine everything into one app, which would be great. But with the Eufy Life app right now, it gives you the ability to have multiple people on there so you can track each person in your house's weight individually and it gives you each of their data individually so that you can kind of keep track of what's happening. You can connect it to your fitness app. So in my case, I'm an Apple user, so I've been able to connect it to my Apple Watch specifically or my Apple Health data, which keeps track of how many steps I'm taking with how much calories I'm burning and everything like that. So not only am I tracking my weight through this app, I can then track my fitness goals through here. So if I am going out and working out and I'm tracking all of that data when I'm taking time to work out, it's inputting it into that app. So into this app. So it's tracking how much I'm weighing, how many calories I'm burning, and helping me work towards the goal that I can set inside this app. It goes even further by giving you the ability to input your food data. Now I'm going to show you a little bit of my health data. So please don't rip me too hard in the comments what my health journey looks like, but I at least wanted to show you what it looks like inside the app and what information you're seeing, what information you're getting on a daily basis or whenever you're inputting stuff. So today was the first day that I actually utilized the food section of it after I ate lunch. I do a lot of intermittent fasting, so I don't generally eat in the morning. My breakfast is like three cups of coffee. And once I input that, it actually tracked, okay, this is how many calories it is, this is the protein, this is the fat, and all the different nutritional data inside the food and put it into a really easy to read list and was telling me, okay, this is the averages per day, you're above or below that. I know I had some spam today, and I love spam and eggs. It's high in protein, high in fat, helps a long burn energy when you're on carnivore. And it tracked all of that. So my sodium was a little bit high today, especially because I ate cheese with it. But you could see all the individual information about all the different foods you're eating. And then it tracks, okay, this is how many calories you're eating. This is how many calories you're burning. So you can actually see the data on, okay, what's my intake and what's my outtake, you could say. So how many calories in, how many calories out. So you're actually able to pay attention and see because... Really, at the end of the day, the best way to lose weight is to work out more and eat food, less food. Simply put, it's eat less calories than what you're burning and you're going to lose weight. It's generally that simple. Yes, there are certain medical reasons that prevent that and can make it more difficult. But simply put, for the average person, that's all you really need to do. What the scale also does for us is give us AI-controlled recommendations and reminders so every morning, it reminds you to weigh yourself, if that's what you choose to put in there, as well as rec recommendations for workouts based on what your goals are setting. I'm still playing around with it. I've been super happy with it so far. I would highly encourage you to go pick one up if you're somebody that likes to just keep track of your weight or if you're on a goal or path to try and make yourself a little bit healthier. I know winter's coming. We all get a little bit more sedentary whenever winter comes because it's cold outside. We don't all like doing stuff outside. But this is a great option for you to be able to keep track of data, see how much fat you're gaining, see how much muscle you're gaining, and just really dive into the different aspects of your health so that you can, again, set a goal and really start driving your weight down. And for me, being able to see that, oh my gosh, I was here, I've lost two pounds. I think today I checked it was almost three pounds that I had lost since the last time I weighed myself. Really bad at remembering to do it. I try and do it at least once a week. Uh, to me, that every single day isn't, it's too much for my, for my preference, uh, but other people like to weigh themselves every single day. But there's a whole lot jam-packed into this scale from all the workouts, all the different statistics that you have available with it. It really helps guide you on the best way to improve your health. Now, this is obviously not the only way you should be going out there and learning, read books, watch YouTube videos, whatever it might be, 
to help further and deepen your knowledge on how to help yourself become more healthy. It's obviously not just a, oh, if I get to eat cake and cookies all the time and input it in there, and as long as I'm watching my weight and my calories, I'm going to lose weight. Eh, not really work like that. You obviously need to be putting healthy things into your body. But along with the food that goes in there, when you do search up the different foods that go into your into the app, there was actually a lot in there. I was able to look up the specific type of egg brand, the brand of eggs that I purchased from Costco recently. I was able to put those directly into the app and knew the data and knew the information about that specific brand so that it was giving me accurate information. The only thing I had to do was check the weight of everything else. Some of it's guessing. I ate spam. I knew I had about half the container of spam. So I was able to go look at the back and go, oh my gosh, I ate three servings technically, which was 56 grams of serving, multiplied that by three and put that spam amount in there and boom, it calculated all the calories and macronutrient information based on what I was just putting in there. I really love this. I think it's been really great for me. I just absolutely love all of the different trackings, especially the food aspect for calories. And then if you're somebody that does specific diet, diets like keto, for instance, you can actually see how much fat versus protein versus carb intake you're taking on a daily basis. Now, it doesn't give you the measurements like, hey, you need more fat or hey, you need more carbs. It just tells you you're above or below your daily limit based on what it thinks you need. You can go in there and adjust a lot of this data, especially when you're working towards a specific goal. But the big thing is that you're tracking it, you're taking the steps forward and using smart technology, using AI to help you become a better person. This was definitely not something that I'm like, oh my gosh, this is smart technology. I, I knew about this. It was one of those like, I'm browsing Yuffie's website and I went, oh, hey, that's a pretty cool scale. And ours just happened to have been stopped working. I think we lost one of the little rubber feet and so it was unbalanced. And so it was time to purchase a new one. And so we said, hey, let's go ahead and splurge the extra little bit to buy a scale. I mean, my gosh, usually you're going to spend 40 or $50 on the scale anyways. Why not spend the extra $20 or $30? Or in this case, this one's $89.99 on Yuffie's website right now. But I will tell you, if you go hop on Amazon, you can buy it for less. And they're even giving away some of Yuffie's night lights, which I think they're super cool. I put them on my stairs. They are little motion activated lights that you can just attach to the wall. And then that way, whenever you walk past them, they turn on. They're kind of like all the different outlet ones or ones you could put on your outlet. There's all different types of night lights, but these ones are just really great because they're easy to use. And they're basically free when you're buying this product already. So that's about it for the Eufy scale. It is pretty large. Obviously, it's the size of a scale. It has a very nice high quality feel to it. Uh, it is pretty heavy uh, and all pretty much an all metal design uh, with the back being plastic. The front of it does have like a tempered glass type feel to it. Uh, so do be careful with it. Don't drop it or anything like that. I keep mine in the sink cabinet below whenever it's not in use so the kids don't pick it up and chuck it like they have done with other things. But I highly encourage you to go take a look at the UV P3 scale. They do have different models. This is the most recent model that they had. And most of the reason why we went with the most recent one was because it was on sale at the time that we chose to purchase it. I hope you appreciated my unbiased, honest review. I was not paid to do this. Uh, this was just something that I purchased. I love Eufy products, so I went ahead and picked one up and decided to review it because this is a smart tech channel and anything that I can consider smart technology, I would encourage you to purchase because it makes your life easier. This is definitely one that will help save a lot of headache and make your life a little bit easier when it comes to keeping track of your help. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you haven't already, go ahead and smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, share this with somebody that is either looking at a scale or just wanting to go on a health journey. This can greatly improve your health and just make it easier to keep track of everything uh, when you are trying to lose weight or just be healthier in life. Because uh, it's not always about losing weight. Sometimes you're looking to gain muscle and you're working out a bunch, so this could benefit you as well. Like I said, share this with a friend, hit that subscribe button, smash the like button. We'll hope to see you guys here in the next video. Thank you so much for joining me. My name's Ian. We'll see you later. Bye -bye.